Hey, all you wonderful people out there. Welcome to my YouTube vlog of 2018. Second chapter of my original vlog, The People's Lima, a.k.a. TPL. And it's also my second YouTube channel. Welcome to EML77 TV, episode number 99. Eric Lima here, your host, and is hosting this, this shindig here. What's going on? Whew, I don't know where to start, guys. It's been, like I said, been a while since I've uploaded an episode here, and, um... It has been a very, very long day. Um, it has been a very long, m long month because it's been been the craziest month. I thought July would be my favorite month of the summer, but it has gotten really crazy. In fact, it's more, I'm a little bit more stressed out, but I'm also a little bit disappointed in the Wellness City Festival this year. I thought they would do better, but you know, despite the fact, but other than the fact that I got a picture of Matt Stryker, your teacher, and saw. Manu and Robbie E fight. Um, the whole entire festival was kind of a stone bummer. You know, my favorite ride at Tilt the World wasn't there, so I was hoping, I was kind of hoping that would make me stay a little later. But you know, it is what it is, and hopefully, yeah. You know, the Buffer's been very, very uh, in a, um, disappointment mode as of late. I mean, they had to cancel 50s night because the uh, construction going on in Union Street is very, very bad there, and so it's like. And then, it, it's also been a long week for me at work because in Dartmouth, uh, at the Dartmouth Mall, uh, we're having new stores coming in soon, and we're relocating two stores and giving them probably new makeovers, which is probably much needed. Um, Forever 21's coming in. Uh, Eblins uh, is coming in as well. Um, Lee and Nails and uh, Good News will be moved to different positions. Lee and Nails will be where the, where the old school Foot Locker used to be um, next to Spencer's, next to Sears, that in that area, and also um, good news will be moving across from, from from its original position. And Five Below is coming to the Dartmouth Mall. We don't know where that we do not know where that goes, but my I guess and under the assumption where everything is positioned right now, it seems like the um, the old uh, where Lee Nails and Good news currently are that could fill up fill fill up the four five below, and I don't know if they're gonna knock down the Ruby Tuesday building to do exactly that. So it's something that we're gonna have to look into. Um, yeah, I do miss I didn't miss working at Ruby Tuesday. It was, like I said, great memories. I mean, coming up uh, in August, it will be two years since it closed down. So it's so it is something to. Um, to consider, you know, consider as far as uh, everything going on. Um, check this out. And uh, like I said, so I'm still hanging in there, still hanging tough. I had to clean up after the, the, the roofers making a lot of messes up there and all that. So it's a little crazy than usual. It's a little bit nuts out of there. It's like, oh boy, here we go. So I'm trying to hang in there, and that's what I think. I think that's basically the best I can, all I can do right now is hang in there. We're supposed to have a water baptism this Sunday, but because of the uh, threatening rain coming, it can't, it's canceled. So it's postponed, to, it's postponed to next Sunday, which is, that's okay. Um, I'll be paid by that time anyway, so it's going to be, so hopefully I can get, a, you know, get stuff done here. It's made in the, I'm made in the 80s, you know, I'm old school, so. Uh, bought a couple of more games for the Nintendo Switch. It is Wild Guns Reloaded and Super Bomberman R. The reason why I bought Super Bomberman R, Xavier Woods, you can play as him in the game. And um, Wild Guns Reloaded because it's really cool. I have the uh, Wild Guns for the uh, Famicom, a.k.a. Super NES. And I also bought... Uh, Rampage, but with, with starring Dwayne The Rock Johnson off the A's arcade hit. So, uh, and two, there are two games that I'm going to get for the Switch. One is a physical game, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers. I look at the graphics, they are totally crisp and awesome. Awesome, I like that. When it's like giving Street Fighter and Super Street Fighter 2 a whole new makeover, which is really cool. And then, <clears throat> they finally released Skyskipper for the, um, Arcade Archives, so I'm going to get that as well, so, uh, I'll be, able to, <clears throat> I'll be looking forward to that as well, so I'm trying to get, you know, the Nintendo Arcades, I've already got, uh, Donkey Kong, Mario Brothers, and, uh, Punch-Out, 
to add to the uh, versus Mario Bros. and Kinnicky Radical Ninja that I have. It's really cool. Like I said, the cool, cool thing about the Switch is you can play your arcade games handheld on the go. You know, so it's totally, totally awesome, cool, you know. And then you can show off your relatives, hey, you can bring your arcade with you, you know. I kind of wish they had a Raspberry Pi 3 that can do that. Now I can, what game are you playing? Ah, oh, I'm playing Cadillacs and Dinosaurs, man. You know, it's totally cool. So, um, yeah. So, well, we've got lots to do. If you haven't, if you, if you, uh, if you, if you end up not hearing from me for a few uh, weeks here and there and all that, don't worry. It's that a lot of things are going on. A lot of things are happening. A lot of things are going down. It's a lot of craziness. It's totally pure insanity in my house, in this house here. When it comes to my family, it's pure sanity. Insanity. I don't know. I don't know if we can get some sanity in my in this house. No way. But you know. But we're gonna hang in there. We're gonna do our best. And I got my sister's gonna have a baby pretty soon. In a couple of months. I got. <clears throat> and plus that that same sister's of mine is gonna get married the month after that. So um, my mom's getting operated on. Keep her in your prayers. Um, nothing life threatening and all that. It's gonna. Do something, and uh, I'm just very. Listen, a lot, a lot is going on. A lot is going down. So we're gonna, you know, you know, play. I'm gonna play things by ear to see what's up. So uh, don't worry about a thing, and I will, you know, update you if I have to. I'm gonna update you in the media on classic. We get 15 competitors already in. I will do an episode on that once all 32 competitors have been revealed. Um, I know Stephanie McMahon's making a historic announcement this Monday Night Raw. A lot of people saying it has to be something to do with the women's division because of the fact that they didn't have, they weren't allowed to wrestle in Saudi Arabia, which Saudi Arabia is still behind in the times as far as uh, everything else is concerned. So it's a lot, a lot of things are happening. A lot of things are going down. It's going to be utmost craziness. Um, we'll see what happens. All right, that's all I got. That's all I got to say. So uh, I believe that's it. That's it. You know, I'm hanging in there. Doing my thing, so um, it's all the time we have on the show. Um, I wish you guys lots of love, lots of happiness, smile, peace, and uh, catch you on the flip side. God bless everybody. Episode number 99. Next one is episode 100. Another milestone is here. All right, I'll see you guys later. Have a wonderful day. And oh, in this case, a wonderful night. Good night, everybody. <laughs>